I'm going to tick over real quick. That's why I've been saying TikTok, Devin. Better hurry up. Thanks, George. Because I tell you, there's a lot more other people that love this fight as well. So, balls in your court. Devin Haney against uh, George Cambosis is, is getting really, really close to being signed. What do you make of that fight, Joel? And, and who do you think wins that fight based on both their styles? You know, I I don't really know much about Cambosos. The only time I saw him fight was when he beat uh, Teofimo Lopez. He's a good fighter. He's technically smart, you know, but at the same time, you got Devin Haney who is young, he's fast, very technical and smart, you know. Honestly, uh, to me, it's a 50-50 fight. You know, I'm not going to lean towards either either one because Cambosos has experience. I mean, he's been around. Uh, he, was at, he was helping Pacquiao at one, at one point, you know. And he's got some really good experience. Devin Haney has a lot of confidence, you know, coming up because he's very technical and very smart. I honestly think it's going to be a 50-50 fight. It's not going to be much action, you know, because their styles, you know, it's not of, you know, an action fight. It's going to be more of a technical fight. But I think in, if I have to lean towards one, I honestly think Devin will, will take it at the end decision. Do you think Lomachenko would have beaten both of them, both Cambosis and uh, Devin Haney? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, uh, Lomachenko is uh, it's a, a different a different style, a different type of fighter. But I don't know. I mean, he has so much issues. You know, I know he, he's had injuries, and uh, honestly, I didn't think he would lose to Teofimo Lopez. And uh, I saw the fight. I saw Lomachenko waited too long. He waited too long. I thought maybe okay, one, two, three, four rounds. I mean, he started opening up after the seventh, you know, and that was already too late. To beat, uh, uh, if he would have applied a little more pressure like he did in the eighth, ninth round, I think he would have even stopped uh, Teofimo Lopez. But he waited too long. I don't know what happened in his camp. I don't know. But I, all I know is that Lomachenko has problems. He has injuries and, and whatnot. But he would have beat both of them. Uh, look, obviously, everyone's seen the news today. We've seen that... Uh Lomachenko decided not to leave now, and um, you know I respect it. Like I put out that tweet: stay safe, you know, stay healthy, do what you have to do right now. I understand it, and we'll meet. Two real champions will meet, but for now, there's another guy in the U.S. that that likes to talk behind the fence. Well, that fence is open now. Let's see how much bark there is. Uh, look, Devin Haney's got uh, you know a simple thing that he has to accept. The same deal like he said he would. Obviously for uh, Lomachenko, the same Doloma is getting. He's got to accept the same thing and uh, yeah, we got to fight. I'll see you in Melbourne. It's not that hard. It's very simple. He's going to make a lot of money either way. And uh, we're going to put this to rest. He thinks I'm, uh, for some reason, ducking him. Why would I duck him when uh, Lomachenko would stop him? Yeah, no, it's interesting that you say it's a 50-50 fight because I've noticed that a lot of fans that have said when they've matched up like Devin and Cambosis, like they're split. Like some feel that Devin is, is too technical. He'll outbox uh, George because he's just a lot longer and, and knows how to use the ring better. But other people think like, no, like the pressure and, and the volume of, of George is, is going to make the difference in the fight because Devin doesn't throw a lot. He's accurate, but he doesn't throw a lot. You know what? Uh, Devin steps up to the level of opposition. You know, I just see it. I just see it like that because, I mean, Camboso can come, can come pressure, but he's going to run into something. Yeah, uh, Devin Haney is technical. He doesn't throw a lot, but he's very accurate. He's very accurate, and he's very uncomfortable. And uh, you can throw as many punches as you want against a fighter like Devin, but if you can't, if you can't hit what's not there, it's a little, it's a little complicated for a fighter. Uh, look, I've got a promoter, Lou Bella. I've got my managers, and uh, he's got his side. Lama, very easy to deal with. Literally, whatever it takes, he done it. And uh, everything on my end stacks up. And again, it still will stack up. It's still going to be the same deal for me. I've got all the belts, so, um, you know, these big fights, I know people get impatient. They say, come on, why aren't you fight? Why aren't you fighting yet? Why uh, is there no opponent locked in or announcement? We're talking mega, mega fights, stadium fights. I've been patient for 10 years in the pro game to get my shot, and I finally got my shot, and I made it count, so, uh, you know, it's coming. I'm fighting early June, you know, so very exciting. You know, at the end of the day, I got all the belts. I'm coming home after five years, fighting abroad, doing it tough, doing it the hard way, and uh, we are here now. I'm, I'm undisputed already. I'm already undisputed. The belt, Lomachenko had it. This is a super belt. I got all the belts, same as the WBA. There's a regular champion called Javonte Davis. 
I'm still the, the, the main guy in that, in that uh, sanctioning body, so I'm undisputed, and uh, this is just put the final you know, nail in the coffin. That's all it is. So let's just hope you know, for the boxing world that uh, he knows where the airport is, he's got his passport up to date, and uh, he's not afraid of flying 19 plus hours, because it's all easy behind a computer screen or, or a phone, or easy in the comfort zone in Vegas. But when you've get got to get on that plane with limited team, and all your loved ones back home, and you've got to travel all them hours into a whole different time zone, in a whole different you know, soil, then let's see what a real man is, because I've done it countless times. I did it against the biggest and the best, top five pound for pound fighter, and Teofimo Lopez, hell of a fighter. I didn't even make it look hard, I made it look easy. And it was no close even split decision.